wait, to end that note and also uh, to align with the story, but it's just uh, the one thing that, I, you know, can come out of this story is that, like, what you see on Instagram is exactly not how... Ha- as is exactly not what you see on Instagram, you know. Yeah, like you, everything's not always what it seems. The grass, it's not always good. greener on the other side. Yeah, it's not always as good as it looks on social media for people's relationships. And exact. And when when would you say like this whole like, um, this whole media craze as far as like, you know, family vlogging, couple vlogging, especially like using kids for financial gain. You know, like them fucking people. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at it, but also, like, also that, like, it almost, a lot of them feels almost so forced and fake, like, especially, like, the Ace family. It is. Where it's, like, you're using your kid because you're exploring this market where it's, like, you know, family, kids, a lot of mothers are probably going to be watching it, like, oh, my God, like, how are they doing with their lives and how are they dealing with their kids? And and now you're using babies as a way to you know, get views and get clicks and all that, or a couple goals and all that mm-hmm. bullshit. I don't really, I mean, I don't really, I'm one of those people, like, I don't really care what people do with their children. As long as they're not abusing them, it's their child. People been exploiting their children for money for, for years. We see it, if you want to use LeVar, LeVar Ball as an example, uh, Michael Jackson's parent, Joe Jackson, how he did with the Jackson 5. That's true. All these uh, these white moms who put their children in beauty pageants, like Honey Boo Boo and all okay, that. Like, okay. This stuff, this type of stuff, but, parents exploiting their kids have been going on. I'm not really, doesn't really, I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's not going to affect my life. I know. I, I get it. But, you know, since we're talking about it, I'm just saying, like, as far as, like, social media being the driving I think oh force I mean, of that, that issue of yeah too. yeah I'm, I get it of I course we don't give a damn what people do with their lives but you know the the it's, it's also the, the market on the social media for these parents to consistently day in and day out exploit their kids or exploit their relationship even people, if there's a lot of shit going on back door you have to think about it YouTube vloggers like the couple vlogs and the family vlogger people is basically reality TV it's a sense. It's 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 a sense for the viewers for us to get away from our everyday lives and see how someone else lives their life, yeah. and see how their life relates to us. Because you gotta remember, a lot of these YouTubers, yeah, they got nice apartments and stuff or nice houses. They don't all be super rich. They don't so, be owning so, no shit sometimes. Yeah, it's just they just a be false renting. Negative. Uh, yeah, so uh, they don't false. be rich. These these be just normal. like the rappers don't really own all their chain. Yeah, these these be normal people just videotaping their life for the world to see sometimes i don't be mad at it i don't really call it so much exploiting children because it's not like i mean my girl watches some of these vloggers and i'll sit down sometimes if she's watching youtube i might like look up they're not really exploiting the kids it's like some of them if their kids don't want to be on camera they don't force them to uh, be on I camera. Seen a there few, are parents that uh, there I've are some that do force their kids to like, be on the uh, camera ryan Ryan who? The, the little boy Ryan with like the huge YouTube where his parents are actually recording, but it's all him. Like the kid that reviews, you're talking about the kid that the reviews toy the toys? Reviews. Uh, well, it, see, and the dad always trying to go you, in for attention How and all you know that? he didn't want to do, he doesn't like doing that. Bro. I'm just saying, you never know. Is he's reviewing toys? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. It's about, not like he's. It would no, be no, different no, if I'm, he was reviewing something that's those, not really kiddish. Those, those are a little bit more genuine, but there's few. There's a lot more of the other. No, there shit are. You could tell when it feels like, like they're scripted. I don't and stuff. feel like this kid really want to be recorded, but he's being recorded. I you mean, know, it's. I, I mean, I, I'm not trying to say that the kid ain't got no choice, but I mean, sometimes it comes with a lifestyle. It comes with that lifestyle, and I and. In hindsight, if I'm the kid and I could look back in hindsight and seeing that my parents are YouTube vloggers and they're vlogging my whole life as a kid, if it means that... I'm going to need that check. No, not even that. full. No, not even that. I mean, I guess that, but not even that. If it means that my parents are able to make a living and put me in a better situation, then I personally would be all for it. I'd rather have to be on camera for like 10 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. Then be just living twenty four seven, bro. Yeah, but they're not recording their whole day. You those vo- the vlogs be like thirty yeah, minutes true. for a day, so they're not. I mean, yeah, they they were not recording the whole day, so it's not like 
They're just with the camera and the little kid's face. They do a lot of these YouTubers still, even when they vlog, even the ones that probably script and enforce their kids on camera. I'm pretty sure they still let their kid. I don't know. Be a kid. I get so weird. I would buy that that market that that it's not even a, a niche because it's so big of a of a market. Yeah, I get you. I get so weird. Oh, I see people like really, really are into these family vlogs and th- especially. I the told kids you what. The, it's a sense of. I'm like, what? It's a the sense fuck? of. Because it's just because like because you because all you because every single time they click on the video they're expecting perfection. No, here, here's a here's a here's and a like, here's a good example. People watch family vlogs because, and I'll use the family vlog specifically, or even I guess even couples because if it was like. I'm, I don't really watch vlogs. I do watch YouTube. I'm not really like a vlog person. I Same. watch other stuff. But if I was a vlog person and someone was asking me that, why I watch vlogs, I would feel like I'm connected. It connects me to the, the YouTube. I would feel like I'm almost their friend in a sense. Yeah. Like, and especially with the family vlogs, sometimes it's cool when you see these little kids and you kind of see them grow up on camera and you see them mature. Like, okay, so my girl, she watches this one family on YouTube. It's like uh, this couple, they're a foster <laughs> foster parents so they have a whole bunch of all their kids except for like two are adopted they got a and bunch like, from china huh no it's like straight off the it's can. from here you asshole oh. no 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 <laughs> the kids the kids the kids no they're from here oh they're from here fucking asshole no they're like I hispanic mean, they and white them, and black kids right, they were giving them out over there like no, hot cakes not, no no they're they're older they're all like oh okay. like, i'm just saying there was nah, a time when asshole. china was giving out cakes like <laughs> no asshole fucking you know no, but ebt anyways, but anyways like she's been watching them for years and like some of like the babies and stuff, like you see them grow up, go to school. So I mean, it it is a cool. It's kind of a cool like little. If you're a fan of that vlog of that channel, it's a cool experience to see. Like with the family vlogs, you see the kids grow up. Like yeah. like you see them from when they're babies, and like some of the <coughs> chicks my girl watched their kids. She was watching them. Their kids were like babies, and now yeah. she's watching them, these dudes, these little boys, is like three, four, five years old now, big as hell, like, you, yeah. it's cool sometimes, like, you just see people grow up, and they're just sharing their family experience with you, obviously, they're vlogging, they're not sharing everything with you, you right. don't know what's going on when the cameras are all behind closed doors, I'm pretty sure they still want to be private and have a life, Yeah, but... It's just cool sometimes just to see like the little things like a kid's first day of school. It's first, no, I'm not saying I'm not like, saying it's not cool. Like I, I no, no, I'm I'm saying I that's definitely why think it, I definitely it. think it's needed in a way, but I it's gotten to a point where it's like it's a little too much. A little some some people it create doing, it create the the oh that's goal life uh, syndrome well, so much no, that's, to that's, to a standpoint where I like people are are expecting a lot more out of their daily life it, while they're comparing it to, you know, what's on screen. Well, yeah, people just have to stop comparing their lives to celebrities or what they see on in social media and stuff because you're not going to, you're not going to, if that's what you're comparing, you're not going to be happy because, Cause, like yeah, I said, you real. don't know what's going on behind closed doors. For all we know, a lot of people that we see on social media that we call goals could be struggling right now. I'm sh- I mean, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So I mean, it's that's all it really is. You can't, you can't, you can look at that stuff. Even and if like, they, even if they, it, but you, you know, rich, they aren't like, you know, some ain't really goals, goals. But still, you could look at it's. It's okay to admire what p- other people got and all that, but you can't compare it to your life. And I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm. Everybody is guilty of doing that. You compare right. your life to other people, people who are more successful than you. You can't do it. All that. It's not gonna. If it's not, if it doesn't motivate you, it's all it's gonna do is depress you. Yeah. So, and not everybody will be motivated by that. That's true. So I mean, you just gotta live your own life. Yeah. Um. I. I. I know. I. I haven't been on social media. Uh. It's been great. It's been a fresh air. I haven't really been on my phone to be honest. The only time when I'm on my phone is when I'm like watching something at work. But like, I can honestly say, like, my mental health. <laughs> I'm just. Waiting. Uh, no, uh, I can honestly say, like, there is zero fucks for anything in the world besides whatever that's in my bubble and whatever issue that I'm dealing with. Yeah, sometimes and you need to... And it's fucking great. Sometimes and you, know you need to do that. You know what's great? You need to do no, that no, no. sometimes. You know just what, cut yourself off from you know social what, media and just you know focus what, on everything inside your own You know what's life. great? You know what's great? Is I'm, my, I'm subtracting all the bullshit story posts about... 
politics on this side, politics Life on is so this much side. You don't gotta see that shit on people the People complaining about this shit. People gotcha. bragging about this shit. Exactly. You got motherfucker flaunting money that they don't have. You, you know, the you got motherfucker movie. racing and shit, doing dumb shit, posting like it's cool. I'm sorry. You know, I got a few friends who does that. Y'all ain't cool. Um, <laughs> hey, if you listen to this, you ain't cool, man. You ain't cool. Stop it. Try you hate fucking him. 27. Listen, don't pay. Doing donuts listen. like a fucking child. Hey, nobody pay attention to try. He listens to country music. That's so fine. Pay no attention that's fine. To him. Look, I he, he been lost his black card a long time that's ago. That's fine. Hey, have it back. I don't need it. <laughs> I'll be with the white people. <laughs> Wearing my cowboy hat, drinking my red solo cup, and listening to country music. That's him. fine. Um, this man tries a 70 year old man. Paying this man no mind. Yeah. He's I'm, 70 I'm, years I'm, old. I'm, I'm, For y'all that do donuts, we, we like that shit. Don't, don't pay this nah, guy no nah, mind. Nah, nah, I'm worried about buying a house in a few years. That's what I'm on. That's, 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 that's smart. Meanwhile, y'all doing donuts. Fucking up the street. Wait, hold on. Anytime when I'm hold driving on, around on. the streets, I see hold donuts on. signs. I'm get like, oh man. my God. What makes you they can't they can't do donuts and worry about buying a house? No, they can't. They too okay. busy buying new tires every month. Well, my argument would be, well, they can say the same thing about you. You too busy going to fucking music festivals every month. That would be their argument. But that <laughs> Yeah ah, that's a vacation. <laughs> Not really. Yes, you can is. vacation without going to EDC. But but that's on my day off. Like I and on their day run. off, they want to burn tires. Bro, you're fucking up the streets. No, I get you. Go to a racetrack. You do, yeah, racetrack. don't do no, it I illegally. Get Bro, I get you. I get no, you. No, no, <laughs> you're a hater. Up. No, you I'm a fed hater. up. I'm fed up. One time. <laughs> One time I was tired. Oh, I ripped my ring bro, off. bro. One time I was tired as fuck after work. I was heading home from work. And I had to be stopped in the middle of the street. Sunday fun day. For 10 minutes. While these motherfuckers did donuts in the middle of the street. And I couldn't honk because I was afraid I was going to get shot at. You weren't, uh, You probably got shot bro, at. Mother, bro, bro. If I would have been that guy who stopped the, the shit, I would have got. Not something really. would have happened. Not really. I got my new. I was in my new car at the time. I would have kept driving through. Mind my business. Soon as the fir- soon as the first right, car hit the fucking car doing do- donuts, as soon as that road. car stopped doing donuts, I'm going through and driving through before the next car can start. It was like twenty <laughs> cars in a fucking line ready hey, to do their dumb yeah. shit. Then call the cops. No, I don't want to be a snitch. Fam, they in the middle of the street. I, Fam, you're not a snitch if you're a civilian. Only gang members can be snitches. If you're a civilian, there's no such thing as snitching. Then, then just don't do it. Nah, I, I like it. It's okay, man. Bro. Listen, I mean, it's nah, it. Nah. Think of, no, here. I, listen. I ain't even on Instagram. We're not, we're not about to deep dive into side shows, but that's a whole culture, so I can't let you do that. And it's actually a good culture because it keeps a lot of these these hoods that be a part of side shows, they kinda, it kind of keeps the violence down because it don't really be shootings at side shows. That's that's do, like do, the one spot. Do it in the morning. Do it do it in the morning. That's like the one spot. The one time when hoods try to like not be beefing, they try not to shoot at side shows. Nah, so I mean, that. it keeps. No, nah, they be doing that. The they, they be doing that night in a Target uh, parking lot, taking up uh, <laughs> parking spots, or in a in a in a boba parking lot, taking up uh, spots where I, when I try to go get boba, I don't have fucking parking. Do it where a place where you get it register. You know, it's a. It's sign. not a lot of places. That's, I'm well, not. I'm not well, arguing well, with you. Well, you know, I agree with you. Well, I agree with you. Go you where should, they go where they allow you. You should. They, they well, that should be on the states and cities to see. Well, hey, this is a big thing that these side shows. Instead of trying to outlaw them, they should try to make more sanctioned events to keep the people bro, off the streets doing it illegal. Bro, when you're like 40 mentally, this shit drives you nuts. I told you you're like 70, bro. I'm, you're not even 40. I'm 40 mentally. You're 70. I still want to have fun. No, you, you know, don't. I'm 40. You're like a 60-year-old man. That's fine. When you're 60 mentally, this shit just gets me furious. You'll be all right. You'll still That's sleep. why my dream is to You'll move. You'll still sleep at night. Is to move, like, uh, have a house. Like, if it's in California. If it's in California. Is to have a house by, like, Laguna Hill or maybe, like, Missions. Viejo, Viejo, or, God Viejo damn, man. or Santa Margarita, 
Irvine, a gated community where motherfuckers can't go in unless, you know, you you, 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 you own a motherfucking home. You own a home in the gated community. I want to be in a gated community. I want no motherfuckers <laughs> that don't belong in my neighborhood to be in my neighborhood. If I'm walking my dog and you don't live in my neighborhood, I don't want you in my neighborhood. Are you getting shot up? I'm getting a gun and a house. No, you can't do time. that. People, Same. people go as long as they're not bothering you, they could walk their dog I, in the neighborhood. I, 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 I mean, I know I, you're joking. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> like, come I'm on, joking. man. I'm joking. I'm just saying, if you're bothering no, I get me, you, I get what you're saying. You're like, bothering me. But nobody. And does also, that I don't anymore. want no homeless people by my house. If I'm going to buy a house, I better not see one homeless motherfucker. There's in front a of my lot house. of homeless people in those streets. Shit. Talking about moving to Irvine. I know. Not, not in our bro. They don't exist in Laguna Hills. Well, they don't resist over there because it's yeah. all gated communities. Yes. They be yes. chilling in the city, though, when you go into the town. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's not... It's, it's like, shitty. As long as it's not where I live, I'm fine with person. it. You are a shitty Bro, person. I want to live where there's no homeless people. I want to oh live where God. there's a bunch of rich motherfuckers with trailers park, uh, trailers and RVs and, you know, uh, razors and, you know, solar panels in their homes. And, you know, I want to be there. I want to be where I feel like I made it in life. You know, that's the point of life. I don't want to be that's where. Fair. That's fair. I don't want to be where I'm like, oh shit, here comes the helicopter again. That's, that's you here. Wanna, you want to make it out I the hood. I haven't made it in life, so I'm hearing helicopters tonight. You want to make it out the hood. That's fair. Yeah. I'll give you that. All right, man. Is that where we're going to end it? Right. Yeah, we'll end it there. Right. I didn't want to deep dive into sideshows. All right. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can deep dive in that next week. All right. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. I mean, it's just really a bunch of dumb motherfucker doing dumb shit. <laughs> Such a hater. Really? No, He's is. a hater. I can name drop right now because I He's know a you. Hater. He's a hater. I'm not a hater. Just stop racing. Not nah, racing. Side shows, I'm cool with racing. Nah, that's bad. Yeah, because you're going to get somebody different. killed. So many times, motherfucker, race and cut me off. Man. <laughs> All right, man.